Hey guys, so for this tutorial I'm going to do a Canada Day inspired look. Now you don't have to wear it for Canada Day, you can always wear it if you're having a red and white themed party or you can wear it every day um, without these little dramatic lines you could wear it. I think it looks awesome. Um, I do want to warn you that my camera was being a butthead during the video but I made sure I captured everything. Um, you'll see me getting frustrated sometimes but don't worry, I'm good now. So I hope you guys enjoy my tutorial. Okay, so first I'm applying my Urban Decay Primer Potion as always. Okay, so now I'm just taking some scotch tape. You can use any kind of tape. And I'm just taking a piece of it and I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand first get this most of the stickiness away from it so it doesn't irritate my eye and then I'm just gonna apply that on an angle usually I like to do it from my bottom lash line up to the corner of my eyebrow that's how I determine my angle so I get it even on both sides and then I'm gonna take Floof by MAC and this will be my highlighting color and I'm just going to apply that with my finger and then I'm going to take this red color it's uh, the Freedom Shower shadow from Inglot so I'm just going to take a fluffy creaser brush and pick up some of the product tapping it off and I'm just going to apply that in my inner corner. So just like that. And then you're going to bring it up just a little bit. And I'm taking a fluffy blending brush. This is from Eco Tools. And I'm just going to blend that out. Now I'm taking that same crease brush and the red color again. And I'm just going to put it on my outer corner. And then just taking my blending brush and blending that side out as well. And then I'm taking that brush yet again. And I'm just going to stipple it in. Just making it a little thicker. And then I'm going to be dragging it kind of in my crease. You don't want it too too opaque there but you're just going to keep blending it so you kind of get this kind of shape where the two sides kind of join at the top but not too much and then taking whatever kind of cream white cream base I'm just using this costume makeup and I'm going to take the white and just pop it in the center Just like that. And then I will be taking my favorite white shimmer and it's from the Body Shop. And it looks like this. And I will just be taking a flat shader brush from Sephora and just popping that in the center over that white. So then again, I'm just taking that fluffy crease brush on the red and just reapplying it. So hopefully you can see it and it's not blurry because my camera keeps slipping. I haven't really found a perfect spot to put it yet, so I'm working on that. So, so with your tape. You're not gonna come, you're gonna take it off, but you're gonna put it on, and I'm gonna show you. 
what you're gonna do. You're gonna take it again, again from that bottom lash line, and you're just gonna kind of give it a an angle like that, and then you're gonna take a more dense, um, pointed creaser brush and that same red, and then you're just gonna go along the tape. So now you should have something like that. And now I'm just taking my Coastal Sense True Black Gel Liner and an angle brush. And I'm just going to line the top lash. And then on top of that, I'm going to put Audios by Toki Doki and just in this little palette. And then I'm taking a cleaner angled brush, it's just on the other side of this Sephora um, smudge brush. I'm going to take that same red again. Okay, so that's the completed eye. I'm going to go put my lips on and I'm going to contour my cheeks and I'll be back. Hey guys, so this is the completed look. I hope you guys liked my tutorial on this Canada Day inspired look. Um, so for my contouring, I used Royal Pride by Toki Doki. And it looks like this. It's my favorite, favorite bronzer to contour with. And on my cheeks, I have Momo Bella by Toki Doki. I don't have it with me to show you, but it's just like this corally pinky color you can kind of see. Um, and on my lips, I just use some concealer and some SPF 15 Blistex, my chapstick that I always use under everything. And then I have on top, I have this... Um, Vita or Vita Gloss by Bonnebelle. Um, it's just a drugstore brand um, lip gloss, but I love the colors like this peachy pink and it's got flecks of sparkles in it and it's not sticky. And that's my pet peeve is really, really sticky lip glosses. And this is not sticky at all and it just gives me a little pop of color. Um, I don't want anything too dramatic on my lips or my cheeks because my eyes are pretty dramatic. So I just want to keep it subtle. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and have a good Canada Day if you live in Canada or 4th of July if you are in America. So I hope you guys have an awesome day and take care.